together. We had action here at the Fight Project MMA series. Rich or Mel McCarthy from Hybrid MMA in the blue corner taking on Rachel McElhaga in the red corner representing Next Gen. And it's Mel opening up heavy with the leg kicks. Yeah, this is a rematch. Eight weeks ago they both fought and Mel was the victor in that one, so. And if anyone saw that fight, that was an absolute war of attrition. So if we see more of the same tonight, Josh, I'll be very, very happy. Yeah. I've also seen Mel fight in a white collar boxing fight probably a year or two ago, and she does seem appear to hit quite hard, so um, I probably wouldn't want to be in the end of one of her digs. Right now, he's doing a good work in the clinch, landing solid knees to the body. Yeah, Rich just needs to get her head up like she's done and then try and work to get her back off the cage. And Mel's kind of pressed her head, her forehead against Rachel's side of her head. She needs to just turn around. Nice break from Rachel. Lands a big shot over the top. That wobbled Mel a little bit. Oh. These girls are picking up right where they left off eight yeah. weeks ago. They've both hit each other with a couple of good shots. Nice stiff jab from Mel there. Needs to be careful when she's throwing that jab not to lean the head back. Yeah, you can see her hands are kind of coming down sometimes because she needs to keep them nice and tight. Nice leg kicks from Mel there. She's doing a good job of putting those together, the hands and the leg kicks. Again, battling for the clinch. Big knee right up the middle from Rachel. So again here, Rachel needs to get head control and try and turn this around. Um, it appears that they're not doing it, but this is a very tiring yeah, we said in, to be in. Yeah, we said in the previous fight, myself and Ryan, that to the uninitiated, it doesn't look like a lot's happening in this position, but it's one of the most grueling aspects of mixed yeah. martial arts. It's almost like you're trying 100% to just maintain a, a static position, so uh, it's very tiring. Nice shot on the break from Mel. I often call that position what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. That's the kind of pressure yeah. you see. Solid kick again from Mel. Oh, beautiful straight right down the yeah. pipe. Rachel needs to do more then, because Mel didn't like getting hit for that. Rachel starting to open up with the hands a little bit more, starting to land the crisper, cleaner shots. Landed yeah. a good hook there on the back foot. Yeah, Rachel's doing a good job of kind of keeping the center. I know Mel's pressed her up now, but she was getting a lot of success whenever she was doing the pressure. Another oh, good knee in the clinch. 10 seconds left. Can either fighter leave a real definitive stamp on this round? A lot of little rabbit punches there at the end for Mel, which can take the toll eventually. And Josh, one of the biggest takeaways we have from Coming the fight. They're fit and they've been training hard, so it's just really good to see. The Vanilla Gorilla clearing the cage, and we are ready to go for round two. Round two, or perhaps round four, if you're counting this as the second of. Uh, I'd love to see a trilogy between these yeah. goods. So Rachel's hit her a couple of clean right hands there. It just seems that Mel just is keeping that left hand down and Rachel just seems to be hitting her every time she throws it. Doubling up on the jab was Rachel. Kick unchecked. Again, Rachel's not really giving Mel any time to settle now. When she's yeah. landing the shots, she's, it's not just single shots she's landing now. She's putting together a greater frequency of shots. Yeah, and I think she's having more success whenever she's being the aggressor. Double underhook trip potential for Mel here. Good so defense. Again, Rachel here needs to turn into her, pull her up, get her head control. She's trying to split the base there, keep it as wide as possible. Beautiful job to raise that level of Mel and, and break off from the clinch. Yeah. And that's bound to be disheartening for Mel. Yeah, after a few of those, you know, takedowns especially can be quite tiring. Oh, clean shot right over the top from Mel. Snap down, take down. Let's see what Mel McCarthy can do from this position. Yes, yeah, so this can be a dangerous position. There's a few submissions. Um, difficult to see exactly. Beautiful job from Rachel to try to sit through, but could switch to a potential single here of her own, but no. Mel McCarthy now taking the back. Yeah, so Rachel needs to get up, up. 
and drills all over. Drag down, could find herself. So there's one hook in, so. so it's McAfee and Haffey guard right now. Yeah. Has one hook in, two hooks. What does she need to do in this position to, to really exert herself on Rachel on bottom? So the most uncomfortable position is to try and flatten them out and really just press them completely into the mat. Um, usually do that we're trying to get under hooks and just stretch them out. Nice Rich. work from Rachel to, to strip away one of the, yeah, the hooks. Yeah, can move into mount here and that's probably a pretty... But it's, it's a pick your poison position, yeah. isn't it really? You find yourself mounted, you, you try and transition, you get your back taken. Some but heavy shots coming down from Mel, it's a terrible position to be in. Rachel's trying her best to get out, but Mel's just all over, so she's kind of in side control here. With Again, heavy, just yes, McAfee just pulling her towards her there. Yeah. Seems to be happy just to ride out the position here. May try and step over into, into a mounted position. So Rachel's kind of turning her back. She kind of should be trying to turn in, but it looks like uh, Mel's got like a bit of a Dagestani handcuff here. Rachel's left arm seems to be locked up. Oh, she's got it free. She's underneath the chin, but does she have enough time? Nope. Doesn't have enough time to work for that rear naked choke, but definitely leaving Rachel with something to think about, or a lot to think about going into the third and final round. Yes, I think that's a, that round was a good example of Rachel having a lot of success in the feet, and then whenever Mel can mount a position, throwing big shots, you know, that's a very dangerous position, and it scores well with judges. They'll all to play for going into our third and final round of another exhilarating bout here at the Fight Project MMA series. Both girls opening up heavy, McCaffrey with the clinch. Yeah, so Mel's probably wanting to try and get it back to the floor where she was before after having so much success and she's trying to weave that wee leg in to do a, a trip. As that snap down again has worked really well for her. Potential for an arm and guillotine. So far, she's just using it as a mechanism of control, but beautiful work with the hips just to switch around. And again, in that back take position that has been so successful for her. Yeah, Rachel kind of turned away and gave her back. So now it's up to Mel if she can get the hooks in. So there's one in. Rolled with it. Both hooks are in now, Josh. Yeah, so now you kind of want to soften them up a bit with a few strikes and then try and get that forearm underneath the neck. Um, so Mel a has a lot position. of time. Mel has a lot of time here with which to work. Yeah. And sometimes just even having a forearm across the face is just a yeah, bit of an uncomfortable position that, to be that in. That face bar. I have seen people in fights tap to that face yeah. bar when it pushes the jaw and puts so much see pressure. Mel's on. really arching Rachel's back here. And it's probably not choking her, but it's just the sheer pain of it on the bone. And that's what can cause somebody to try and adjust, and then yeah. the arm slips down underneath yeah, the chin. Definitely. Right now, it is the hybrid MMA representative, Mel McAfee, in the dominant position. We can't quite see from our broadcast position if she's underneath the chin, but Rachel needs to try and fight the top hand first and foremost. So now Mel's on top. And she's, she's managed to get one hook loose. So Mel needs to work to try and get this other hook in before Rachel can turn into her. Does so. Very solid groundwork on display here from Mel McAfee. So very tiring position for Rachel to be in. So she needs to try and get these hands and turn her hips into her. But whenever you're in this position, it's kind of easier said than done. McAfee needs to be careful with those hooks that she has in, not crossing the feet. So Rachel just needs to bounce. Oh, right through into the mount, but may find oh. herself. Oh, beautiful work from Rachel. May find herself on top, but right now the, the onus lies on her to make something happen. Yeah, and she's got a short time left, so she really needs to make this count. You'd Mel. like, you'd like to see her posture up now and just yeah, rain down strikes. Yeah, trying to pull her head down to try and keep the distance close, but. Rachel needs to pull them hands off and get a better posture. 10 seconds to go for the second time tonight. I think we'll be going to decision, but if 
All the fights end up as exciting as this. I will happily watch three rounds every time. People are on their feet. What a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, another incredible point here at the Fight Project MMA series. Give it up for both fighters. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Your judges score this fight 30-27.